you just have to trust that God is supporting you, God has your back. It's not always clear what you're supposed to do because I think God is God is guiding God is always guiding you, but I think if you stay in communication with God through prayer, um, and Danielle helps me with that, she encourages that, which is one thing that I need, and I think that's you know, part of God's leading is that He lets me be open to her guiding me. Even though His guidance isn't always clear to me, there comes some key times when um, he's when, when you just have to trust that he's there guiding really I think how God shows all of us who he is is by giving us the ability to be parents um, you know whether that's by adoption whether that's by giving birth you know to parent and a child um, is is God's true way like then you really experience what he experiences God is teaching us through our relationship with him how to have relationships with other human beings and whether it's your spouse whether it's your kids um, co-workers uh, you know people that you meet at the grocery store or anybody else his example teaches you how to have um, productive successful relationships with everybody you encounter. I used to think that you had to get perfect before you could go to church. Um, and then you go to church and you get to know people and you realize, you know, none of us are perfect. All of us are struggling in our own way. And sometimes, you know, people that you think have it all together, once you start building that relationship with them, you realize they don't have it all together. They don't have all the answers. Um, the difference between you and them is um, the relationship with the Lord. So, you know, Bible studies, reading the word, you know, praying. Praying is an amazing thing. And it doesn't have to be some crazy i mean you're going to listen to people that have the gift of prayer that they put the words together so eloquently and you know why it's amazingly beautiful that they have the gift of those of being able to put words together i mean simply i you know i pray to god every day in the shower and you know i mean it's as simple as god i give you my child you love him better than i can and right now you know i'm struggling and you know that you know it's just simple, it's, he doesn't expect anything eloquent, he just expects you to be real. I believe God loves everyone equally. I, I believe all you have to do is open yourself up to God's love and be willing to experience it. You have to enter into the relationship with God without your own expectations, I believe. Um, God, God's the one that's in charge. God's the one that loves you and um, He will do, do what's best for you as long as you're open to Him and, and allow Him to do it. You think about criminals and people that do bad things and, you know, redemption for them. And one night I remember Jeff and I talking about that and it was like, but if that was your child and they did something, would you still love them? And just like, well, yeah, but I'd be disappointed. And I'm like, yeah, but could you imagine what God feels? Because, I mean, God calls us his children. Whether we know him or not, you know, anytime somebody does something, it grieves his heart. So, you know, that that's like when you stop and think about that then you really can kind of grasp who God is this is real love not that we love God but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins <laughs>